So this is the gym. It's a three-stall gym. So there's going to be three different areas that you can have different activities going on in. So it's a pretty large space. We use this as actually kind of our stock room. We were trying to get material in as much as we could just to avoid longer lead times and delaying our projects. So we actually just had this cleaned out because we're going to be pouring the slab. So that's our next step in here. We've got duct work up. So it's really coming along. This is one of the first areas that we worked on. We wanted to get our precast boxes in first so we could have some area to store things. So this is the gym. Do you want to walk through the athletic commons? Uh, yeah, let's go that way. We're going to have to keep all of them. This is going to be the athletic commons. You can see we have some nice skylights in here. Um, to your right will be the pool. And this will be kind of your area where you can hang out. Concessions will be right there. That open space right there and where the plastic is, that is actually going to be windows. So if there's something going on in the pool and something going on in the gym, you'll kind of be able to look into both of them while you're standing here eating a hot dog or whatever you may choose. So this is a fun area. Anything else to add, Patrick? No, a lot of good graphics and everything in here. It'll be a lot of logos and that type of thing for School Pride. Pretty cool area. So this is the pool area. It's going to be an eight lane pool. You might be kind of wondering where the pool is. That's actually what we do last when we are um, building areas with pool in it. We still need to get our machinery in here, the lifts, everything. And it'd be kind of hard to do that if we had a big hole in the ground. So that'll actually be one of the last things we do in this area. So like Morgan said, we kind of build it backwards for a pool. So we'll have this painted with light fixtures and everything up there and the wall will still be open. And then we'll come in and dig the hole. Equipment will leave, we'll put the precast panels in, and then we'll start working on the pool itself. Diving platforms? Is that a thing? Um, not the big platforms, you know, like the three meter boards. They don't really do those anymore. It, there is a diving board, and I think we had two of them in here, but I will take a look. But we'll get back to you as we walk here. So, in here, we'll be the Performing Arts Center right little hole in the precast. It's going to be um, right next to the wood shop area. So if you build sets, they can roll them right in there so there's not a lot of moving around throughout the building. We kind of did that intentionally for that purpose. And I think it fits over 800 people if you use the orchestra pit. This is all shop area? This right here is going to be administration. Okay. So the woods is going to be on the lower level. So this would be where administration, principal's office, all that will be in this area. But like Patrick mentioned, we're kind of working our way out. So we just had a huge crane that just got taken down uh, last week when we got done putting up the panels and planks, the precast panels and planks. So we just moved that out of here. And now we're kind of trying to move everything else out so we won't need any more equipment in this area. And that's kind of how we built the whole um, school. It's very sequential. We want to make sure that we have the equipment going in the right movement so then the trades can kind of follow it and can work our way out. So you're walking into the commons right now. So what you see open right here is going to be windows. So you're going to get to look out into the courtyard right when you walk through the doors into the school. The cafeteria area, people will eat around this area. The kitchen will be over there. There's also going to be a pro start kitchen for um, students who have a taste for cooking and want to be more interested and more involved in that, they actually get to learn the culinary program and then come out here and cook snacks for different events or maybe just for the school day. So they actually get to kind of bring their skills out here. What was on this land before all of this? Rock. It was, it was undeveloped. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. We had yeah. to blast a lot of rock, but it was Folks, that's why they call it Rock Ridge. So they just had road access and they had lots for sale. Um, the only lot that was sold was the Spectrum lot in this particular area. 
and then you've got building 1404 and 1402. So those three buildings were built within the development. All the rest of it was available for purchase. Oh. Yeah. And this is a really, really unusual site. I mean, they've got I mean, look around you. Nobody yes. gets these views. Yeah. And when you come through here, you'll be able to look all the way through the glass all the way through. So it's a tough construction site, but everything that makes it tough yeah. just makes it a gorgeous site um, once it's here. Uh, because you got, you're surrounded by other pure trees um, that are still here in the landscape, the rocks, and everything else. So it's a really unusual site. A lot of the tough part is over, and that was getting through. About a mile, I would think. Through the woods, it's um, down the road and then yep. down the frontage road, so probably about a mile is the cool. So I'm just profile. looking at it, any type of connections as things go, mm -hmm. go through of looking at it, that uh, there may be a path to the college to the school. Who huh. knows? We, we thought of that, Scott. Well, well, uh, that's uh, I, it's I, a good location for us. That, yeah. Beautiful. The, there. beautiful. Uh, the other unique thing is the high school is actually in Virginia, but the stadium, which is where that big pile of rock is, the football stadium will actually be in Eveleth. So we're talking a very shared property line here. It's between the Eveleth and the Gilbert districts. Yeah. It really area. joins it together. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a good location. It's a little tough, like Dr. Schmidt said, with the stone and everything that we had to deal with with wetlands, but we're getting through it. We've been able to reuse a lot of the rock, um, especially on the elementary site. There's supposed to be a retaining wall on the back side of it. We actually were able to reuse rock that we blasted, nice beautiful boulders to put over there as a retaining wall to reuse them. So that's been nice. So this is the courtyard. Um, there'll be a lot of different hardscaping in here. There'll be a good area for when it's nice out for teachers to take their students out here and maybe do some outside learning. It'll also be a great area for students to hang out. Um, just a great overall outdoor space. And of course you get to look into the awesome trees here. Right now we're working on putting the insulated metal paneling up. So that's why all these lifts are kind of parked here. Um, so yeah, that's what we're really working on in this area right now. So you're standing in one of the learning neighborhoods. These ones are mirrored. So this is where all the classroom studios will be. Um, this is where all the learning will happen. These will be like the traditional classroom learning and you'll have the labs on each side as far as woods, welding, mechanics, that kind of stuff. Well, this will be sandwiched in between it so you can really bring the learning in all together from the labs all the way to the classrooms. Is this the hallway here? This will be the hallway and then the studios will be on the side. But what's different about this is it's not a normal high school. So you'll see there's a lot more breakout rooms, smaller rooms at the far end there. That's actually a double classroom. So sometimes teachers are doing something together so they can open the glass doors so that'll be a double classroom and then a lot more smaller breakout rooms. So if a teacher wants to do something, they're done and the kids need to break into smaller groups, they can scatter and there'll be a lot of glass so the teacher can stand in the room and still see what the kids are doing to make sure they're not messing around. They would never think about testing early, but just in case. Are there any other learning institutions like this in Minnesota, or certainly not on the range? No, this when this is built, it's probably going to be. Well, I know it will be probably be the most heavily visited high school in the Upper Midwest. Um, I'm not aware of anything like this anywhere in the Midwest. Um, the way it's being designed. Anybody who goes in here is going to realize this is not a normal high school um, as traditionally built. And, but we also, when we were doing this, that's what we told the voters they were going to get, um, not a normal high school. So now the, hard, the easy part is the buildings. We have to deliver on the constructional side of the equation too. This will be the kitchen area, so it'll be nice and close to the commons so people can get their food here and then go eat out there. Um, they also have some culinary lab stuff for students who are interested in the culinary um, kind of career path. 
So that's one of their career academy um, kind of, you know, areas that they're working on. So. Where the kitchen will be right here then? Yep, so that I believe will be the coolers. Let me just double check. Patrick, yeah. that'll be the coolers, right? Yeah, Yep. freezer coolers. Yep, so that will be where the freezer coolers are. And there's a loading dock right on the other side of this. So when they get loads in for food and all that stuff, it'll also be very close. So that was also in the design to kind of make this more cohesive and easy to flow through school. So you're not loading in from the other side and then bringing it over this way. So that's another thing that we kind of did in the design to make it a little easier. And the culinary lab is like that way. So they're, they're learning how to cook there next to a functioning kitchen that is actually serving their meals. And then like Morgan had said on the other side is that I guess the serving kitchen where they're actually putting everything into practice as students for events. That was what we had to show you here for a little short 20 minute kind of overview. I think Thank we went you. over 20 minutes, but that's okay. Yeah, there's a lot here. Yeah. Yes, there is a lot. And this is just part of it. There's oh, a yes. whole other side. <laughs> so, yeah. Any other questions? Yeah, do you guys have any questions for us? Kind of asked along the way, but. Schedule completion date? January of a year from this January. So 2023, and then opening for the school year 23-24, so you have that winter, spring, summer to prepare. So they'll get all their furniture in, get everything moved, and get reacquainted on how they're going to use the space from that January time frame all the way to August. Hi, my name is Dana Sanders, and I am from Zim, Minnesota. I work full-time at Blue Cross and Blue Shield as a supervisor, and I um, hold a seat on the Virginia, Virginia Chamber Board. Um, and I'm here today touring the school um, on behalf of the Chamber event. What do you think of the new school? It is beyond impressive. Um, I just, I can't get over um, the, the size, uh, the gymnasium, the pool, the, the auditorium, the kitchens, the, the courtyard for the kids, it's just un, unreal. Is it what you expected? That and so much more. This is going to be just a, a great opportunity for um, students in the very near future. Will you tell us who you are? I'm Andrew Kangas and I'm a student at Virginia High School. Uh, what do you like most about the school so far? Well, it seems like there will be a lots of things to do, and it seems like really big and like a really nice place for students to go to school at. I think you're right on that. Is it kind of what you expected? Is it better or is it worse? It's definitely a lot better than what I expected. I expected it to be a lot smaller with like less things to do due to budget costs and stuff, but it's definitely surprised me. Alrighty.